Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Go Patriots. You can tell America's on a roll when the Patriots humbug their way to victory over the Baltimore Ravens. Go Patriots. We're seeing gold trading around 1674.50. Uh, the up move is not coming with a whole lot of confidence. It's a day-by-day -day thing, so it's great that gold is up for three weeks. So you've made some money off that $100 from here dip that occurred a little while ago. And your positions are holding in a solidly profitable basis if you've been following our investment recommendations over time. We see this week uh, being flat to down uh, because we don't see anything uh, that will cause the market to move in a big way. We're trading between this range of roughly 1600 to 1735 Anything in there is not going to surprise us at all. But we see big resistance at 1735 If you want trading ideas, uh, this is the right number to call, 781-380-8888. Otherwise, lay low, hold your positions. Uh, in the uh, Financial Times, the commentator Dizard made the following statement. Euro leaders have moved from, quote, collective self-delusion to the much less dangerous state of empty posturing, end quotation. Uh, this uh, aptly sums up our view. Uh, there's nothing going on in Europe. There's not going to be anything going on in Europe. They're looking at a decade to maybe two decades of serious difficulty. Uh, and so we expect that there's nothing they can do about that. So we just need to be aware of it. Uh, we need to be aware that uh, the, the, the situation where private investors are taking 75% or 68% or 58% haircuts would not encourage me to be an investor in sovereign debt in any of those countries over there, including France. Uh, and uh, so I want our clients to keep in mind that there is no solution on the horizon to the, <coughs> to the uh, uh, European situation, nor will there be. So invest accordingly. Uh, it may be, uh, according to an East Asian expert, that the Chinese indeed hike interest rates this year. Uh, not because their economy is doing great. They're heading toward that legendary space called stagflation. Uh, and the reason for that is that they've continued to print money when there is no reason to do it, no economic reason to do it. So it may be that we might see as much as a 25 basis point increase in the Chinese main interest rate. Um, and this, while at the same time, they may reduce bank liquidity reserve requirements due to the fact that they want to try to get banks to lend money to small and medium-sized companies in China. Lastly, on the platinum side, um, the aging U.S., and I think pretty much everybody knows that people are pretty much holding on to cars um, till they drop. But there are so many cars that are so old in the U.S. now that they're starting to drop precipitately, precipitously, as it were. I wanted to say drop like flies, but I thought better of it. So uh, what many analysts think uh, is that this aging car thing is something that's going to come uh, to an end over the next two or three years. And this will produce a net demand, of course, for platinum, uh, which, of course, is a key element in most catalytic converters. So we expect that uh, as uh, consumer acquisitions pick up, at least in the U.S., that's going to be a significant factor in worldwide platinum. So this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a great day. Keep swinging.